It was a special holiday on the island of Sodor. Bertie the bus was working harder than ever before. All the engines were busy too. next journey. Near him stood a red bus, but he didn't look friendly like Bertie. The bus growled as he gazed at the happy passengers. Stupid nonsense, he grumbled. I wouldn't have brought them if I'd known. I'd have had a breakdown or something. I'm glad you didn't, smiled Duck. You'd have spoiled their fun. Ah, enjoyment is all you engines live for. One day railways will be ripped up. Duck. How shocked at such an idea. We have a friend called Bertie, and he's a bus, but he likes the railway. Sometimes he teases us about it, but he'd never want to see it ripped up. Look, growled the bus. I know Bertie. He's too small in size to be of any use. Duck took no notice. <coughs> that bus is silly, he thought as he steamed away. At the junction, Duck told Oliver all about him. I call him Bulgy, chuckled Oliver, then he puffed happily away. But that afternoon, when the two engines met again, Oliver was no longer laughing. Bulgy's friend has come, he said. He's rude too. He's taking Bulgy's passengers home so as to leave Bulgy free to steal ours. But he can't objected Doug. Bulgy says he can get them to the big station before us. Rubbish, replied Doug. It's much further by road. Yes, continued Oliver, but Bulgy says he knows a shortcut. That evening, the engines were preparing for the homeward rush. Where are the passengers? They wondered. Look, shrilled Oliver. Look at Bulgy. He's a mean scarlet deceiver. Bulgy was wearing a large sign saying railway bus. Yeah, Moose Cubs, he jeered as he rolled away. Come on, puffed up to his coaches. Let's see what he's up to. Duck wanted to pay Bulgy out but he wasn't sure how. Then, in the distance, Duck saw a man waving a red flag. That meant danger. The line here crosses a narrow road and there was Bulgy, wedged firmly under the bridge. So this was his shortcut, chuckled Duck. He tricked us, shouted Bulgy's passengers. He said he was a railway bus, but he wouldn't accept our return tickets. He wanted us to think railways are no good. Duck's crew examined the bridge. It's risky, but we must help the passengers. Passengers are urgent, agreed Duck. Duck, slowly and carefully, set off across the bridge. Bulgy wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Can I fall on me? That would serve you right for telling lies, said Doug. But the bridge didn't collapse. Duck made good time and all the passengers called their trains. The bridge is now mended, but not unfortunately. Bulgy and his weight, he never learned sense. He's a head house now and his lies can do no harm. The hens never listen to them anyway. Oh, <laughs> 